folks. Come on over to Fade Grips and use the code BSG92 to get 20% off products. If you have not already, please follow our Twitter and our Twitch, BSGaming92, where you can get all the updates on uh, when we'll be streaming and recording and all that, that fun jazz stuff. Thanks, man. Thank you for the business. Hey, move it! I'll back off will soon. Blessed are the poor, and bless them with your own kindness. You, kind sir, will you help the poor? I so kind. Yes, you are, sir. You have it in you, I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work, father. You're wrong on two counts, sir. I'm a humble brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> you have no idea. But you do. And God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hungry to me. Sure. Bless you, sir. How you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Mm. My, um, my mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. It's a wonderful insight. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but, you know, usually he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm, well, poverty will always be with us. But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. The place Saint Denis is acting as a staging post for shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe you. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner, the one with the green door, well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. Help the poor. You hear the law was taking money from some rock? Careful there. Hi there, mister. Uh, feel free to browse. Sure. Boom. Looking for anything in particular? Oh, uh, nothing much back there. I'm afraid. Just a, a few old books. Uh, Something don't seem right. Sir, uh, what's what back are you here? Doing back there? Looks like this pulls out or something. Pulls out? No. How about you open that door? Door? What door? The hidden door. Or I'll open the hidden door in your chest. They made me do it. I, I was always good to them, but they, they forced me to do it, sir. I, I swear. Open the door, now! Oh, okay, okay, just pull the big red book on the bookshelf. It's called The Scourge of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. Uh, hello? Shh, cállate, cállate. Hay alguien ahí? Por favor, ayúdanos. Help, please. Por, por favor. Now, don't worry. I'm on your side. Hmm. Los de aquí. Please, I'm on your side. It's gonna be okay. Gracias, señor. Muchas gracias. Come with me. Don't worry. You're gonna be all right now, I promise. That's it. 
Come on. You'll be safe soon. This way. How much farther? Poor bastards. No lo sé. Estamos libres y es lo que importa. Tenemos que confiar en él. Dorkin's friend. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Come on. You were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh my. That's... Well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that. They're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers. Come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, you forgot this. Oh. Yes. Thank you. I... Uh... Here. Payment. For your services. I could not have freed these men myself. Give it to the poor, brother. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. Still working, Mr. Strauss. What you been up to? Trying to wrap up our accounts before we leave, Mr. Morgan. So you'll be joining us in Tahiti? I uh, rather fancied Australia. A similar kind of people to us. Lots of opportunity. That tells me we're going to be ranchers. Perhaps, but uh, so far we have not raised many cattle. No. So, Mr. Morgan, will you help me finalize our business here? <laughs> This is filthy work. We'll need money in Australia. Uh, for cattle and feed, I mean. Why flinch now? You never have done before. I don't know. Well, here they are. Some fishermen by the name of Davison, Algy Davison, living in a place called Catfish Jackson near Scarlet Meadows. A fisherman. And that's it. We're a union built on that, you know. It, okay. You fools up to? It's Mr. Black's fault. His fault to Darky White. Although I don't know why they call him that. Look at him. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean off of you. Come All on. Right. And I'll right. tall you, you lily livered. Enough. Huh. You two fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah, what of it? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister. Maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay. Even for a darkie. Shut up, you pasty face streak of piss. Yeah, I had up to here with you. Enough. Do your goddamn favor what you want. Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. <sighs> okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat. Don't push your luck. Nice fella. Yeah, you love nice fellas. Don't you start up again. Just shut up. You shut up!
That son of a bitch deserves a noose. You made out there. Bad. They worse. Hey, we're looking for some escapees. Got posters all over town. If you'd like to help. You're spreading lies. Lies? Every fool knows the charges were trumped up. But the darkie killed a white man. Jimmy Holdacre had a weak heart. He died of a heart attack. Nonsense. And Samson Black was set up. Everyone knows Judge Amory took a bribe. Even you don't believe that, do you? Sure. Can you call me a gossip? How's your time? He's fine. Just fine. Darling? Still with her. Have fun. Mr. Black and Mr. White. Interesting. Mr. I need that mm -hmm. poster. There's been a recall. I weren't born. From yesterday. This one's mine, so you can go and get oh, your own. No, you don't! This is, uh, very kind of you. Get the law over here with this man. Get back here! Help! Help me! No half-assery now, boys. This one's live. Calm down. The law will handle this. Someone tell me what's happening here. Same as ever. Fine. I thought I recognized you. Hello again. Hmm, I thought you were sweating a little. How Thanks, you do, sir. I'm fine! Don't you tell me I'm not!
Hey, friend. Hello. How was it in town? Pretty hot. There's quite a price on you boys. It is so unfair. I, I didn't do nothing. Well, they said you was wanted for murder. It wasn't murder. It was self-defense. And you killed a farmer? Well, firstly, I would have. But he died before I could. And secondly, well, he had it coming. He... I don't like to say. Well... Ain't no business of mine. Here's the posters. Thanks, partner. That's that, then. That's that. Free at last. There, girl. Idiot! Why do you have a problem with me? <laughs> Bastine. You all right? Hey, buy me a drink, mon ami. Huh? Down on me. I don't sure, care. what you want? Brandy. Two brandies, bud. It's two dollars a glass. Oh, better be good then. Mm. It's the best. Thank you. Santé. <clears throat> ah, it's quite a country you're building here, eh? Well, me personally? Hmm? I don't know. What do you do? Mostly, I just shoot people. <clears throat> How very American of you. I love it. What do you do? Oh, mostly I, I pose, I show off, I complain. Oh, how very French. I know. <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights, and I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies, um, how do you say, all ass. Mm? Asshole? Mm. That too. That too. <laughs> mm. Well, at least you have some self-knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? Mm. All the civilized world. Painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No. I'm a whole ass. I thought we had covered this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm. but you paint. Not according to salons at Paris. No. According to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? Mmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. Mm. I guess so. Mm. You know, uh... Arthur. Charles, you know Arthur? Don't believe in art. Mm. It's lies. Believe in women. They're the truth. Art is lies, but the vagina... That is truth. Breasts is truth. Art is for idiots. If you say so. Oh, trust me, I've tried both. One is better. Much better. <sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you. Uh, but, here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Uh, you know, entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm. No matter. Good meeting you. Mm. If no one else can buy me a drink, I will go. Why are you doing this? Yes. You're good. How is everything? Something wrong or what? Ah, excuse me, bud. What? <laughs> Listen, bit of a weird question, but do you know where I might find some moonshine? What? Moonshine. You no know, strong liquor. 
over strong. Why, you want to get over drunk? <laughs> no, no, it's not for drinking. <laughs> what is it for? Oh, I just need some. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. Yeah. There's plenty of real booze here. Hey. But for shine, well... I'm guessing you'd need to go out into the woods. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Now listen, I don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Oh, shine? Yes, thereabouts. Why? Oh, all right, I'm trying. I'm building a machine. A machine of love. <laughs> hundred gallons of hooch and love's gonna come pretty cheap. Please, friend. I'll pay. Just, just, just bring it here. Support the cause. Well, if anyone knows who's moving that kind of shine, it'll be that stagecoach guy in Rhodes. What's all this trouble about? Watch it! Got a problem with me? I like. like. I like the soon. Sooner. God damn it. What does that even mean? Watch your language, please. Leave it to you. Sister, my friend, Mr. Morgan. Oh, sir. Brother Dorkings told me about the wonderful thing you did. Oh, he talks a lot of nonsense. <laughs> no offense. None taken. None taken at all. Hey, stop! These kids that'll watch! Don't hurt him, please! We'll be at the cathedral. <laughs> Oh, you all right? Oh, I'll live. Kid did this? Uh, you know him? He robbed me. Which way you go? Uh, that way, thank. Thank you. Get off me! Where's my watch, you little weasel? I don't know nothing about no damn watch. Last Saturday, I saw you steal it with my own two eyes. Hey, you! Why don't you leave the boy alone? What's it to do with you? I can hit a lot harder than you. I promise you that. All right, forget it. Little shit ain't even worth my time. Thanks, mister. <clears throat> hey. You want some company, mister? No. You sure? Hey. What? I don't know you. This is Downs? Oh, no. Not you. Get away. How? Now. I mean, I, hey, help. Uh, help. Hold on. This man is bothering now. me. Someone help me. Officer, help. <sighs> hey. Call me out. God, God, help. Oh, help. Why is this happening? Hey, you're okay, girl. Good girl. Hey, partner. Every day, it's a new challenge, Father. Mr. Morgan! Excuse me, Father. Sister, I got your cross. <gasps> 
You didn't. No, oh, I did. Oh, I hope the boy... He's fine, physically. Mentally, he's a piece of work, but who am I to say? Brother Dorkins was right about you. You are the most wonderful man. Brother Dorkins is greatly deceived, I'm afraid, but I'm happy to help a little. Thank you. You see, it's a thing, but my mother gave it to me when I was a novice. Shortly before she passed, you are the most wonderful man. Oh, excuse me, Father. Sister, enjoy your day. See, Father? Brother Dorkins found you. I told you. Brother Dorkins was fantastic.